Hello! Hello! And welcome back to Slaughterhouse Customs. It is, of course, Ben and Adam. We are joined by special guest, Boxes of Dead Sound. And Jono. Oh, and Jono. Hello. And today we are going to show you guys how to professionally sound deaden. <gasps> How to professionally sound dead in your van and insulate with a little bit of dead sound. Jono's doing it. Jono's doing it. We're talking about it. Do it. <laughs> Tools that you're going to need for the job. You're going to need a nice sharp pair of scissors, a nice sharp knife, cutting board, a dead sound roller, which I believe yes. John has. Somewhere. I did have it. I've been playing around with it all morning and now it's gone. Ah, as if by magic. We're here, we've got some different materials and I'm going to run you through the different types of sound deadening that we've got today. So we have got the Dead Sound Medium Van Kit. Actually it's a large van kit, I lied, because we're going to do the roof as well. So we're going to talk about the different types of materials and where you're going to use them in your van. First product we're going to lay down is our sound deadening sheet. So, this comes as two options. It comes as a big roll like this, but it also comes as individual squares. So the individual squares, I'm sure Adam in his fancy video land will pop them up here. It's basically the same product, it just comes on a roll. This is a sound deadening material, which is effectively a dense material, it's quite heavy. Uh, and this will absorb any noises and dunks about your mouth there. Sound deadening. Comes on a roll. So what this comes, this comes with a wax back, and you basically peel this off and apply it. So what John is doing here, as you'll see, is he's got the sound deadening sheet, he's cutting it to size, so again using a knife uh, and he's carefully applying that. So the best thing to do on this is cut it to shape, uh, mock it up, and then once you're happy with the fitment, peel it off in one go or in half a go. And then the key tip for this stuff is to make sure you're wearing gloves, because the, uh, the aluminium foil is quite sharp. Put a nice, nice even pressure, apply it to the van, and then what you can do is you can use your roller, and you're going to smooth it out um, to get the proper adhesion. Uh, what we also tend to find is really good is if you're doing this in the middle of winter, which some of you may be doing, just get your heat gun out, just warm up the panel and warm up the, um, the box of sound engine sheet or your roll, leave it inside so it gets nice and warm, 20 odd degrees, and then just lightly a bit of heat into the panel just to, to smooth it out. You just get a really good adhesion then, and you won't have any peeling off or anything like that. So we typically say between 50 and 100% coverage. This will vary depending on what van you've got. For example, if you've got a large crafter build, where you're on a, under a load limit of 3,500 kilos, you're not going to go for 100% coverage because it's going to push you over the weight limit and you've still got a lot of interior and stuff to go in. Plenty of options there, it's kind of down to the individual build. And once that's fitted, we're going to go for the Dead Sound Thermal SD. This is a 6mm layer, You've got an adhesive back, and you peel that off, again cut this to shape, and you're going to apply that on top of your sound deadening, and we go for 100% coverage on this, and then we're going to use this for the sides, uh, and, we're, and on the engine lid, and the engine area there as well. This one's even easier to fit, what you're going to do is you're going to cut the shape again, you're going to mock it up, and then you're going to peel it off. Now, top tip, cut this off and peel this off in, in strips, it makes it easier and easier to apply. Again, smooth it out, uh, gloves or no gloves. Um, Depends if you like it gloved or ungloved. That's weird, can't say that. <laughs> Again, just do, uh, even pressure, uh, make sure there's no air bubbles. If you get an air bubble, just get your, your handy popping device, screwdriver, uh, pop, that, pop that out and smooth it out. Be careful because you only get one hit of this, it's really, really sticky, this stuff is there. So get it on, get it done in time. Once we're finished with this, we're gonna go over the top with a dead sound thermal fleece. And this thermal fleece is your typical insulation which is made from recycled bottle material, fire resistant, it meets all the British standards and regulations it needs to. And this is your extra insulation. Again, when you're building your van, it's always best to spec out how you're going to use it for. You're going to use it in winter, you're going to use it in summer, and how much sound deadening and insulation you actually need. But on a van such as this, you've got extra areas above here. These areas here typically would have cables in. We don't typically tend to stuff these with the thermal fleece because it's good to have an area for the vehicle to breathe. On a vehicle, you don't need to use a vapour barrier, but you do need to utilise the breathable areas in the, in the channel of the vehicle to allow an airflow through to stop any sweating, condensation buildup, and in the end, rust. This is super easy to fit. What we recommend is cut it to size, rip it to size. Again, if you cut it, you get a nice clean edge. Um, you're going to put a little bit of spray glue on the inside of the panel, a little bit of spray glue on the, uh, on the fleece, let it go tacky, and then you're going to carefully stuff all the crevices with your white stuff. Um, can I say that? No. And that's it, really. 
that's 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 the last bit of it done. So, uh, well done you, you've sounded and insulated your van. And I think, as we would say, bosh, job done. And now we're going to go outside and burn some things. Adam, you're going to ask me why we're outside. Why are we outside? We're going to show you this. Dead Sound, I've got a range of products. We've tried various competitors and we're really, really happy with the quality of this product. We've got three products today and we're going to show you that they are fireproof. So I've got my blowtorch. <laughs> Dang! Cool. Well, it goes out, doesn't it? Wow! Wow! Self extinguishes. Even with the wind, you would have thought that would keep going, but it just puts itself out. How cool is that? Wow. That is proper cool. Oh, God. They're on a go look. Oh, God. I've never seen anything like this. Horse fights. Horse fight? What's that all about? So, there you go. Safety first. Bit dead sound to your van. So the other one to talk about is the Dead Sound Thermal SD Pro. And this is basically the same as the other uh, SD that we're talking about, which is the black one. Got this one here, which is a much chunkier bad boy, and it's got a silver top layer, uh, and it's still got the adhesive backing, obviously. Goes without saying. Um, and this sort of material here, I would particularly tend to use in the roof. Um, and if you really want to go for like an extreme van where you really want insulation is key, you can actually do the sides of the van with this rather than the standard 6mm SD. Uh, and the advantage of that is then you can put your fleece on top um, just to give you that extra insulation if you need it as well. But um, again, for this build that isn't necessary, so I'm just going to put this in the roof. And the advantage of that is you can put a panel in there, and where you've got a short area, you're not going to try and cram in the, uh, the white fleece. This is going to fit perfectly. That's how you fit dead sound to your van. Goodness me. What a beautiful process. There we go. Never seen Jono work so fast. He did a wonderful job. He has done a wonderful job. Actually, have a look at this. Look, we've. Uh, carpeted it and everything. This is Salim's van, it's turned out really, really well. And it's gonna be nice and warm, insulated, sound deadened, silent inside. So, um, yeah, there we go. We're really pleased with Dead Sound. It's an awesome bit of kit. Yeah, it's a fantastic product. The product you saw there goes really well together to just formulate a really nice, warm, quiet van. Yeah, exactly. Even if you've got an old shaky box, <laughs> it does the trick. Sorry. <laughs> That's it, really. Yeah, if you want some, where can, where can you get it's, it? It's uh, in the link and the description below. I'm actually sitting in the back of Celine's van, so I can't do the downward thing I normally do, but... <laughs> He's tried it. anyway. There we go. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out. We'll see you in the next one. Whoa. So what John is doing here is he's cutting the... And what you're going to do is you're going you're gonna to apply it. Mm.